What up, you fluffy bastards? My name is Liquid Blitz, and this video is a long time coming. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this video as short as humanly possible for a vlog. I know that on YouTube, people can often ramble and it takes like 20 minutes to get to the point. I don't wanna be one of those people, and I tend to ramble, so expect a bunch of jump cuts in this video. So, here it is. I've been absent on this YouTube channel for the best part of like a year now, and it was sporadic before that. Um, and there's, there's several reasons behind that. First of all, I've always made YouTube videos about sort of mainstream games like Battlefield, PUBG, Call of Duty, uh, and, and this is really, really subject to me actually really liking a game and playing it a lot. I mean, I'm not going to make YouTube guides about a game that I'm not really into and, and good at. But I've never ever been one of those YouTubers that just churns out video after video just to get the views. And you all know the sort of YouTuber I'm talking about, every day releasing like a 10 plus minute video for that double ad revenue. That ain't me, that's never been me. Anyway, the point is, when I start to lose interest in a game, I start to lose motivation to make guides for it. I mean, it's common sense, really. And that's reason number one, and that's admittedly... Uh, there's several more reasons, and that's a very minor reason. So, reason number two. Okay, two or like three years ago now, I mean, Jesus Christ, time flies. But like three years ago, I started live streaming for the first time. I started on YouTube, but I, I quickly jumped over to Twitch. I made the decision permanently to live stream on Twitch instead because I didn't want all my eggs in one basket. Like if for some magical reason, YouTube just folds into nothing, um, I would literally lose everything. So I wanted to split my audience between two platforms. So, I started live streaming on Twitch most days of the week, and still do, by the way. Now, very, very quickly, Twitch became like 99.99% .99 of my income, which I rely on completely. This, in turn, led to me spending the majority of my time live streaming and not YouTube video creating. So I became dependent on Twitch and live streaming. Now I, I love both live streaming and YouTube video creating almost equally. But when when one of those pays the bills completely and the other one doesn't, again, I mean common sense, it automatically makes the live streaming the higher priority. So that just directly cuts down heroically on the the amount of time I've got to actually make videos. And that's that's reason number two. Um, moving on to reason number three, this is probably, to be honest with you, the biggest reason, and it's, it's something you hear all too often these days, sadly. Depression. Anxiety and depression. That whole shitstorm that a lot of us suffer from, or suffer with. Now I'm not going to sit here, I've made the decision that I'm not going to sit here and subject you to, to listening to my bullshit for a thousand years. I really don't like talking about myself. This is quite weird and difficult for me right now, believe it or not. So I'm just trying to be transparent and give you the facts. Let's stick to the facts. And the facts are that what I would call relatively severe depression this past year has just killed all my motivation. For me, it's, um, it's, it's a long-term thing, but this past year has been worse than ever. I lost motivation, not just to, not just to make YouTube guides and, and sort of live streaming but almost just to play games at all which really sucks because i mean i love playing games it's my main hobby is gaming it's largely all i do i also love the video making process that's one of the few marketable skills that i actually have anyway i'm not going to i'm not going to go on about that i'm going to nip that in the bud and stop talking about that now because i deal with my feelings on a on a daily basis and i don't want to subject other people to listening to my shite you know what i mean Anyway, the point is, all these reasons together make like this, this perfect recipe for, for not having the time or motivation to keep a YouTube channel active. But I want to change that. It's in my power to change that, so I'm going to try. I want to try to get my YouTube channel active again. So, thanks for listening. If you're still here, you're awesome. Like I said, I wanted to make this as short as possible and not drone on for years. Point is, I plan on getting back to video making very, very soon. Uh, by, by which I mean now. Now, in my absence from YouTube, I stopped playing PUBG. I mean, it was time. I played it for three years solid. I'm currently really into Escape from Tarkov, so my immediate plans are to make YouTube short videos for that. Now, I'm aware that that sucks for those of you who don't play Escape from Tarkov, but, but I mean, that's just that's life for a gaming YouTuber. I can't play the same games forever. 
one day soon I could be into the next battlefield or, uh, you know, or whatever. Also, for those of you who might still not know, I actually have a second YouTube channel where I put all my full Let's Plays of, like, horror games like The Resident Evils, Outlast, etc. But also some story games like Life is Strange. I used to do them on this main channel, but um, I kept losing viewers who were just here for the short guides. Um, so I, I created the second channel as a home for my Let's Plays. So if you're into that sort of thing, why, why, why not go subscribe over there? Also, if you want to see me live, like I've been talking about, I live stream over on Twitch, so why not follow me over there? Outside of that, I mean, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, shit, I mean, Steam group. Links to absolutely everything in the description. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Outro time. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And have yourself a fluffy day. Liquid Blitz, out. Out.